Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Declare. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Making the NHL is every young goalie's dream. We all grew up watching and idolizing pro hockey players, and the NHL seemed like the promised land. What's not to love? Your job is playing your favorite sport for millions of dollars a year, while living like a rock star, getting free meth wherever you go, contracting a new type of syphilis every month, and dying a winner. You don't get those benefits working as a consultant for Verizon. So we all ask ourselves, how likely is it that I will make it? Well, depends on a few things. Depends on how good you are and how many coaches your mother is willing to fuck. If you work hard and have a slutty mother, you might as well buy yourself a San Jose Sharks jersey as soon as you're done watching this video. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to teach you all how to maximize your chances of making the NHL. Since I've already done enough to your slutty mothers, this episode is going to focus on only the factors that you can control. You certainly can't control your mother. This is Goalie Smarts episode 19, how to make the NHL. Step one, start hockey young. This is a big factor, the age you start. In order to master hockey at a professional level, you need to spend a lot of time practicing. If you didn't start hockey at two years old, you might as well save yourself some time and sign up for CrossFit now. If you did start too late in life, your best option is to internalize it, regret it, take it out on your future son, and force him to be a fantastic goalie. This is also where slutty girls come into play, because slutty girls make slutty moms. Use your future wife as a bargaining chip to get your son into the best hockey leagues pussy can buy. Step two, get ice time. Ice time is the second most important factor next to having a slutty mom. The more time you spend on the ice, in your gear, stopping shots, the better you're gonna get. It's that simple. So spend more time at your local ice rink. Get to know the Zamboni guy. Maybe start selling him drugs or talk to him about your mom. Do whatever you can to get this guy to let you on the ice. Even if it's a public skate or a might playoff game, take whatever you can get. Step three, practice every waking moment. Every minute you're not on the ice, you are moving towards your dream. Always walk around with tennis balls and be prepared to bounce them off walls and shit. Put in work at times where it's appropriate, like during your free time or before practices, but also don't forget about times where it's completely inappropriate, like funeral services. Sorry, Uncle Charlie, I got shit to do. You're dead anyway. Step four, harass Gary Bettman. I've brought up Mr. Gary Bettman several times in the series, and even though he is literally a human weasel bitch, like it or not, he is the boss and he has the keys to your non-existent career. This guy is Willy fucking Wonka with the keys to the money pussy factory. So you need to find a way to show this man what you're capable of. What I myself have done is started texting his thirsty aunt and got her to send me his iPhone location. That is right, I have a live GPS track of Gary Bettman. He's in Somerville right now, and in a half hour, I'm gonna drive there to show him my high school highlight reel. Step five, sneak into the draft and hope you get picked. This step is pretty self-explanatory. If you can't get anywhere with Gary Bettman, this is your next best chance. Do your homework and look into the players getting drafted. Memorize the names of any players that look like you. Stand whenever you hear any of these names called. Invite your parents. Tell them about your plan. After they're done crying, forget that plan and just pay two random strangers to hug you when you stand up. Cross your fingers, hope the cameraman is hungover, and enjoy your new career as a third string backup for the Edmonton Oilers. Thank you for watching the third weekly episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Declare. If you'd like to buy some Guillaume apparel, click right here. If you'd like to see our latest sketch on LaBeouf Comedy, click right here. See you next week, bitches. I'm out.